Taryn here and I'm doing my monthly favorites with you. I'm like five days late because I am a slacker and that is all. Okay anyways um so I'm going to start this off because it's summertime obviously and it's been a million degrees where I live and when I say a million I mean about 115, 114 which is horribly hot. So um my very first thing I'm going to talk about, and it's almost empty right now, is the Ocean Potion Sunscreen. This one is uh, an SPF 50, and it's paraben-free, and it's vitamin D fortified, because apparently it's been a thing where people aren't getting enough vitamin D from, you know, when you go out in the sun and your body starts making vitamin D and all that jazz. Well, I guess sunscreen has been blocking that, so I thought it was kind of nice that they made this fortified with vitamin D. But, um, what I love about it is it smells like an orange dream bar. It smells so good. And it doesn't really have, like, that sunscreeny smell. Because I'm not a huge fan of that smell. But I love the way this smells. It just, ugh. Oh, because it's hot out and it makes you think of an orange dream bar. And you can't, you're not getting burnt. It's a win-win, really. So, yeah. Love this one. And it doesn't leave you, like, with that sticky, icky, filming, feel, feeling, film feeling. Yeah, I can talk. So, yes, love this stuff, and it's super cheap. I think it's one of the cheapest sunscreens out there, and I'm not sure why, because it's my absolute favorite. I think Hawaiian Tropics my second favorite, but it, again, has a not super sunscreeny smell. Um, next on to, oh, we'll do this. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Wear SPF 50 bronzer. I'm all about the SPF. You can tell because I'm a pale kid. So it just says, ooh, sorry, um, healthy wear is just in words in there. It's kind of jacked because I use this frequently. Um, but this one is in light because I am light. And it is such a perfect color. It's not... That's what color it is. Like, a smidge darker than my fingers. Which is perfect because I don't need a ton of bronzer all over me and it looks kind of silly anyways especially if you're fair because it has like that orangey-ish hue this doesn't have that it's a very 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 neutral color which I really really appreciate and when you look at it you can see maybe a little bit of sparkle but it doesn't come across on your skin at all which again I love because I don't need to be a shining ball of oil okay um next since we're doing protective things so far, this is Matrix Vaboom Gold Heat. I've been using this a lot. It is a protective blow drying lotion, but it also gives you volume, which I need because I have fine hair. I have quite a bit of fine hair, but it's still fine, so it's always very drab. Well, this helps so much. Like, I can see a huge difference in using this and not using this after I'm done blow drying. It does. I mean, you can tell there's product in your hair when you use it, so don't think that it's going to be like nothing's in your hair. You can you can tell that there's product in it, but it's not crispy by any means. It's it's just fuller. Okay, this I've kind of gone back to. I've been using it a lot lately, and it's been in my collection for a while. It's an old Mary Kay color called Vintage Gold. And it's such a strange gold color. Like... I don't know. It's so pretty and perfect, though. It's like, I just love it so much. And it fades, and it's super silky, and like, oh, it just goes on so awesomely. I love it so much. And I've been using it for most of my looks, just because it's easy. It's one of those colors where you can use that as your only color to give yourself, like, a smoky eye or something. You can use that one color, and because of, like, the dimension it gives to your eye, it looks like multiple colors. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but it's awesome. Next, I'll do this nail polish. This is a Revlon polish, and it is in the color Make Mine Mango. I love this. It is not on my nails right now, but this one, you still have to use two coats of it, which is a pretty common, I mean, that's standard for most nail polishes, but it's such a pretty, like, bright pastel color. It's on my toes right now. I would show you that, but I think feet are gross, so not going to see my feet. Sorry. Sorry for all of those of you who wanted to see my feet. You are gross also. Just kidding. Um, okay. Next, 
this dry shampoo is such a lifesaver. Again, I mentioned it's been a million degrees here, and I love this stuff. It's just the Suave Professionals. Um, it has kind of like, I think, even a mango-y smell to it. That's what it reminds me of anyways. That's the first. There's nothing about the scent on the bottle, but when I smell it, I think of mangoes. So, yeah. That's a thing. Anyways, um, this, like, absorbs oil amazingly. If you do it in your hair the day that you wash it, it prevents you know, you getting oily the next day. It's just awesome stuff. It does come out a bit white and I do have um, like darker brown hair, but if you spray it in and then work it into your scalp like you're supposed to, you can't see it. So I don't have an issue with that. Like if you just sprayed it on, you'd be able to see it, but you're supposed to spray it in and then work it into your scalp. But it works amazingly well. It has a very like high output nozzle too, which is nice because it's not just a wide mist, it gives you, you know, more of a streamline. And last but not least, I'm not doing foundation this time because nothing's really changed. I use BB creams or I use the Bare Minerals because it's, like I said, hot. Okay, so the scent I've been loving right now is from Victoria's Secret, it's called Noir Teas, and it smells amazing. I actually got the little box set a while ago and it's very like a sultry summer night smell to me like I can't even describe it to you because I don't do that you can go into the store and spray it on one of those little paper things and and then you'll know your own self <laughs> but it just smells really really good it's it's like an evening smell for me you can wear it anytime that you want I'm not bossing you but I wear it at nighttime because that's what it reminds me of so I love the fishnet design on the back. I think that's super cute. Not a huge fan of this little lace bit right here, but what can you do? But I do love this. It smells amazing. Oh, and the shower gel works wonders too. Like, it foams up really, really well. I usually don't have high hopes for, you know, the sets of things whenever you get the lotion and the shower gels in the sets. I always assume that they're going to be subpar, like the only reason you're going to use them is so that you have that entire scent on you for the night that you're going out. But the stuff actually works, it works decently, and it feels nice, and the lotion feels nice too. Okay, that is all for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and as always, put your best face forward. I will catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I, again with the first impressions theme because I have been loving these as I've said. Um, I have two new mascaras and I'm always trying new mascaras and I'm in general 